Hi guys, I'm in my nursery or little baby room as I've been calling it. And as you see, you can see four beautiful babies right in front of me. All these babies were reborn and rooted by my mom. So this is kind of for her. I like to give her something to watch. I haven't done a multiple baby changing video in a while. Because it's just hard to get them in a frame and I don't want to make it too long because it's hard to upload. But I'll switch some of them up this way so you can see them better. So we have Mason, Poppy, Mia, and Baby Cozy. These are all Laura Lee Eagle babies. And yeah, I thought to just get that out of the way all at once. But we're going to start with Mason. Say hi, everybody. They're all sleeping peacefully, as you can plainly tell. And like I said in the past couple videos, I really haven't dug out all my summer stuff. So I just opened the drawer and grabbed some cute little uh, dresses with cardigans that I've had for a very long time. And I thought now would be the perfect time to use them because it is a rainy overcast day not hot today it was before it started raining it's been raining today and the air conditioner's still on so um so for miss mason here we're gonna go with this one i think this one came from walmart or possibly target i'm not sure they used to make these all the time. These little dresses that are like a onesie. And it comes with a little half cardigan thing. So cute. And I just realized I've never really even used them. So, And they're definitely not wintry. So, These things run small too. And Mason is a little bit... She's on the larger side of newborn. She can do some small 0-3. to three. But I haven't... Look at her hair. So cute. But uh, she's the only one down here with the super blonde hair. But yeah, I just wanted to change them right fast. And then I might do a group of boys. I took a little break from doing multiple babies in one video. But I kind of like it. Like I like it when, pe when uh, creators do this, which they don't do it very often. Because, like I said, it does take a little while to make the video if you're going to do all the little accessories. But I usually just change them in these videos. So, and it and it's hard to get them in the frame too, guys. Really, it's really hard to get them in the frame. So, yeah, I'm glad that fits her. It's a newborn, but it's a little bit bigger than the other three because this one's from Walmart or Target. Walmart or Target, I can't remember. Should I do just the little dresses without the cardigans? That'd be cute too. That's really cute. But sometimes when I when stuff comes with the outfit, I really like to use it. I don't know why that is. Like if it comes with a headband or hat or anything comes with the outfit, I really like to use the pieces. But it is really chilly in here right now, so. <laughs> Mason has a uh, Delta Dawn hair. And it is very fine. Very, very fine. I could just leave them open. That's pretty cute. And leave the piggies out. What do you guys think? I love little birdies on there. But um, I will take you guys down. And show you them too when I'm done. So, get your little hair comb down, baby. Yeah, she's had that little outfit on for a little while. But thank you for all the comments on my last changing videos. My new baby and Berkeley and. Uh, who else did I change? Uh, why I forget already. Oh, Eleanor, my Ellie. Those are the last three. Yeah, I'm just in the mood to change baby girls. Sometimes I get in the mood to change baby boys. 
So right now, I am in the mood to change little girls because their outfits are so cute. I really hate putting headbands on her, <laughs> but it would have took me, if I just didn't grab something like I did today, guys, I would have drove myself crazy trying to find little accessories and little, you know, everything to go with. So I said, just grab some stuff because everything is cute. So that's what I did today. Cause I usually do that, guys. I drive myself insane finding how cute. Look how cute, guys. So we will pick up Miss Poppy. Yeah, I didn't want to take her out of this. It's so pretty. And we'll scoot Miss Mason over. So we're just gonna play rotate the little babies. Don't hit your sister in the face. So there's Mason. Yeah, she's a little larger than them. And here's Poppy. <laughs> Fresh. Look how precious. And then we'll do Miss Poppy right fast. Yeah, and I like the videos too where everybody's like, you, you take it nice and slow. And you button and fold the little outfits and stuff. I do enjoy that. But I'm trying to save some time. Today is Joey's 21st birthday. And he was out with my oldest son, Ray, for a little bit. And then we're going out to do something after that. So I had a little bit of time. So I'm in here. I needed to do dishes, but you know what? They can wait till I get home tonight. They're not going anywhere. But here's Miss Poppy. Look at her. Look how cute she is, guys. I know she's not all the way in frame, but you can tell. You can see. And for her, we're going to go with this one. This was an old Carter's line, and it's so pretty. I love this print. I can't remember if anybody's worn this or not. Probably. I know no one has worn this one. I just took the tag off of it. So, and this one's smaller. And Poppy's pretty little. So, I hate putting things over their head. I think that's why I didn't use these a lot. I wish they unbuttoned in the back. These are really tight. They didn't unbutton. I'm trying to like stretch it just a little. There she goes. But yeah, these were in my bin, my little drawer bins behind us. So I don't know. I, mean, I really need to get out some of my summer stuff because I, I know there were some specific things in there I wanted to use for some of the girls. Yeah, this is a little tight. I ain't gonna lie, guys. And it's a newborn, it ain't preemie. I hate putting tight things on the babies. This would probably be really, really pretty on Miss Karis and she's a little bit smaller than newborn. Or a few other smaller girls, but she's pretty small. I know it's gonna fit. It's just, it doesn't have very much stretch. Oh, but it's cute. See how cute they are? I've had this for so long. Cute. Look at the little things. And now I've got to fix the top. There we go. How cute is that? I wish I could have got her in frame, but her legs are curly, so maybe I can just... There they go. Let's curl her little legs up. And then it came with this cardigan. Plain pink with a little pocket. So that's really cute. Put that on her. Really cute. One thing about my mom's rooting, they're gonna have beautiful hair and a lot of it. And I love that. Well, I tend to mess it up every now and then. Just moving them around, really. 
Oh, how cute. There we go. Ain't that so precious, guys? Look cute. I don't even know if they make these too, too much anymore. That's so cute. I'm glad I saved these. And I did have, like, a few more of them. I, um... Gave to my granddaughter when she was a newborn. Like a darker, darker uh, navy one. I was too scared to put on the babies anyway, so. I gave that one to my granddaughter. And a couple more, I think. So these are the last four I have. I think. I didn't dig too far today. So I might have more. <laughs> Mom has this little curl up here in her hair. I think it's the cutest thing. It makes it look so different. So, I just left it. There we go. That's precious. So girly. So cute. Now let's play musical babies again. Look at my mom's beautiful creation. So pretty. So we got Mason done. Poppy done. And this is little Miss Mia. So cute. Look at her, guys. But she has a gorgeous head of hair. She's actually one of my mom's very first dark skin babies. I think she's about to make a couple more with a kit that we have. The Colton Blue kit. I think we have that kit stashed. And we're going to do it. Maybe not as dark as her. But that's what my mom's feeling for her. She's excited to do them, I think. And we picked up some eyes for them at the doll show. Yeah, they really could have used new diapers, but we'll get to that next time. We change them. Look how pretty. I just love changing her. And for her, we're going to do this one. I love this print, too. I have a matching blanket for this, guys, somewhere. And it came with this one with the little bows. Ain't that so pretty? This one would look pretty on her, even though she's usually my pink girly, but the cardigan's pink, so. Oh, this is a little tight one, too. Oh, yay, look. This one has buttons, so I really like this one a lot. That's so helpful getting them on a real baby. There we go. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons I like having a large collection. Of reborns guys because when you don't have a large collection you tend to change the same babies over and over again and it you know it can take a it wears on their varnish and paint but my babies do not get overly changed they can go months without getting changed and that's fine that's okay there's nothing wrong with that if that's the way you decide to collect Look how beautiful she is in this. That's still a little tight. These are tiny. These are tiny, guys. Fits them perfect. Glad I hung, um, glad, glad I hung on to these. Because, I mean, I really don't like putting just plain onesies on them. But if it's a little dress, that's cute. You do your buttons up, sweet girl. Oh my goodness, that's so cute on her. Really cute. And here's your cardigan. Keep your little arms from getting chilly. I really could put socks on them, guys, but I don't know. 
I could have grabbed a pair of all white socks for everybody. We'll see what we're looking at on time in a minute. Because if all my kiddos come in, and when I say kiddos, yes, I mean my grown adult kids, then they'll surely come looking for me. <laughs> and I don't want that. Look how cute. Adorable. And these hairs so gorgeous. All four of these babies are just gorgeous. Hmm. There we go. Let's get she's been laying for a while before she's been changed. She hasn't been changed in a little while either. But I feel very confident in brushing their hair and putting headbands and hats on them because I know what a good job my mom does with gluing in the hair. Ain't nothing taking this hair out, guys. And she roots really deep, so the hair is not going to thin out or break off or any of that stuff. It's going to be perfect. Uh-oh, I thought I had... Oh, yeah. I had this little bow for her. Her little flower. Yeah, I'm usually really picky about her hair, so I'll probably brush it again when I turn off the camera. But, and then, last but not least, oh, hello, baby. She's heavy. Is my cozy oh my goodness how cute oh these are group of beauties this is my cozy this is my cosette quinn she's the newest baby out of this group she is so beautiful and this will only be like the third time i've changed her since christmas so pretty see just changing these four girls over here I've got a mess <laughs> and if you didn't know this uh, Quimby and this little girl have the exact same legs they share they share the same sculpted legs so they're really curly which I didn't mind I was excited about that because I love the curly legs and for her, we're going to do this one. Trim in this really pretty purple. And it's got a pop of hot orange. And it also has buttons. Yay. So, I was hoping to have another one with pink in it. But this one will do for her. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. There we go. So yeah, I can't believe my baby's 21, guys. My Joey is 21. And just the sweetest kid in the whole world. Karma here. And he's just been such a amazing kid. Amazing baby, amazing kid. And what can I say? I have some pretty good kids. Oh, we get into little arguments here and there. <laughs> but Joey's a sweet, sweet, sweet man. But in my eyes, he'll always be my baby. And always be the little four, four pound, 14 ounce baby I brought home. The tiniest one of my babies. I love him dearly with all my kids. I've been blessed. And now I have three amazing little grandbabies. Joey's the only one that don't have a kid yet. <laughs> so maybe I'll get a little a grandbaby from Joey one day. But yeah, I don't know exactly what we're going to do today. My husband thinks it's funny that Joey 
to take Joey to a casino. So that that may be where we end up. We're, we we're not huge on gambling. We just go for fun. Only for fun. Oh, this one was short. This is a little shorty dress. How cute with her curled up legs. But yeah. How many of y'all remember these little outfits? They used to bring them out for every... Oh, sorry, baby. Oh. Every, they used to have them just all the time. The little cardigan outfits. I uh, love them. So Cozy's wearing the purple one. Her hair seems a little bit dry today, actually. Let's see if I can put a little bit of this in it. A noodle and boo. Just a little. I don't put conditioner or things in their hair. Mostly just water a lot. Because it can leave a build up. But every once in a while it could use... You know, because it's animal hair, it can get dry as well. Let's let that soak in a little bit. Yeah, you don't want to do a, a buildup of conditioners on your mohair a lot. Because then you'll have to try to shampoo it. And that can dry it out even worse. But every once in a while, it could use a little conditioner. It won't hurt. That's much better. Oh my goodness. Look how cute my ladies are. Oh my goodness. Yep. I love that. I'm glad I went with the little cardigan dresses. Yeah. If any of y'all have any of these in your collections, I wouldn't mind seeing them, guys, because I really like them. And you can let me know who is your favorite. I need to fix Mason's hair. Mason has long hair. <laughs> there we go, Miss Mason. You can let me know who was your favorite out of the four. And I know I do touch my baby's vinyl a lot with my hands when I'm changing them. But what I do is I wash my hands before I come in the nursery in Dawn dish detergent. And it takes all the grease and oils off your skin. Which also dries out my skin, but it's worth it to keep them from getting the natural oils of your body on them. So, I don't... That's why their faces never get shiny. I don't touch them a lot. Out, unless I'm doing, you know, changing, changing videos with them. But that is so cute. And we're at 23 minutes. They really could use some socks. But it still is summertime after all, so... I think we'll just leave the booties out because pretty soon it's going to be all about the booties for me. Booties and socks and things like that. I got a big basket of booties right here, actually, guys. That are booties, socks, slippers, and this is just a little bit of my collection. Just a little bit. So, yeah, I have that. But. Let's see if we can, let's see. I have the names wrote down. I'm going to tell you their middle names. I'm a name thing, guys. I'm, I really like names and middle names. I think it's so much fun to try to figure out. So, this is Mia Page. And then we have Poppy June. And then we have Mason Claire. And then we have Cosette Quinn. So, those are four of the Lily Eagle babies that my mom reborn and rooted for me and I love them all equally look how big Mason is to them I mean she, she's still newborn but she's you know oh look at her capillaries guys oh she's beautiful look at her capillaries and her little cheeks but yeah you'll probably see this Thursday so this is Wednesday today you'll probably see this Thursday let me know who was your favorite I don't have a favorite this time there's no way I'm picking one I love, love, love these little outfits. The perfect spring and summer. Oh, sorry. Forget my blanket, guys. I was laying in here charging my phone the other day. Watching YouTube videos. But, yeah, thanks for watching.
and I hope this video, you know, is relaxing for somebody. And let me know who your favorite was. And this is for you, Mama, too. Look at all your beautiful creations. <laughs> Bye, everybody.